I think the college and education system in America is broken. Um, I think the cost of college is way too high. The value you get from it is uh, not there. And the experience is really not optimal. Um, And at this point, I don't really feel like I know enough about it to understand why that's the case, uh, why there are these problems with it, and why things aren't better. Um, And I don't really know enough that I feel comfortable uh, being able to talk about it. Um, So I will be making this sort of video or podcast series uh, where I will be learning more about it, uh, really trying to understand these issues um, deeply um, and understand the educational system more deeply so that I can talk uh, intelligently about it um, and learn what's was really wrong. Um, like I just said, my goal is to gain a deep understanding of the educational system and the problems associated with it. And the way I plan to do this is by consuming as much data as I can about it. I have a long, daunting list of books. Um, there's plenty of podcasts I plan to listen to, and there's a bunch of people that I'm really interested to talk to, um, to learn more about this and to figure, to figure this, uh, out. Um, and to sort of flesh, flesh those thoughts out about what I'm learning, I'll be recording it. I'll be making this series uh, and talk where I'm talking through my thoughts on these topics, um, and I'll be posting those recordings so uh, people that are interested can follow along. But probably a little more so I can uh, talk out loud about my thoughts to <laughs> flesh them out and make sure I'm actually learning. Um, So, uh, right now, what that is, is I have a long list of books that I have kind of divided into groups that I think are uh, key points to understanding the issues uh, in the system. Um, So, I will... I'll go through the sort of list of topics that I have as of right now, um, and I'll talk a little bit about why I have them as topics. So college history, I have a couple of books on that that um, I think it's important to understand how we got to where we are, uh, to understand where we are. And I think it's important to understand kind of uh, why things developed the way they did. Um, And yeah, kind of why things are where they are now. Uh, What sort of factors into that um, is an important piece of perspective. And then the next section, kind of goes into one of the issues that I think is really significant at uh, colleges. Um, and I, I couldn't really find the right word for this section. I have it as indoctrination right now. Um, but that's not totally the most accurate way to describe uh, what I see as the issue. Um, I think there's a lot of politicization, uh, politicization maybe, on college campuses, um, where if you don't 
align with a very specific set of politics, uh, you're not going to be very well received. There's some statistic that a majority of college students don't feel comfortable speaking their mind on campus. And that's wrong. If we're at the places where we're supposed to be learning, um, it's kind of crazy to think that (laughs) it's okay for us to not feel comfortable uh, speaking and talking to our peers because that's a really important part of learning and developing. Um, And then the next section is kind of in a similar vein, uh, just freedom of speech. Um, There's quite a few uh, sort of like college professors, I guess, that have been uh, fired and people that are doing talks on college campuses that uh, have had their talks canceled um, because of whatever issues either the school staff or the students at the school uh, raised. Um, And that's, again, really wrong to uh, to take people's platform away, I guess. Oh, there's a fly in that light. Um, and then the next sections are a little bit more, more of a zoom out. So I have a section on brain. Uh, I think it's important to learn about brain health and development. Those are really key to understanding how can we actually uh, improve this. Uh, Same with the next section of learning. Learning is a skill that we don't ever really get taught and that is to our detriment. That we don't ever actually figure out how each of us learns best. Uh, continuing, Continuing off of that, the next section is teaching. Um, teaching is a really powerful skill, um, and in a lot of ways, colleges and the people that teach at them don't put the care into it that they ought to. Um, it's a little bit Uh, the responsibility of the student to make sure they're learning. Um, Which isn't always a bad thing, but uh, I think there's some insight to be gained uh, from trying to learn about the the art that that teaching is. Um, uh, Let's see. Oh. The next section I have is writing and sort of, uh, and liberal education. Um, I think the reason I made this section is because I read a book that was recommended to me right uh, before I was going into college. Uh, <clears throat> and that book was In Defense of a Liberal Education by Fareed Zakaria. And to me, that book did uh, made a raised a really effective made a really effective point on being able to effectively communicate. Um, I think that's definitely something a lot of us do not learn, uh, especially to the to the degree that we need, and that would help us. Um, And writing, I think, is uh, an important part of figuring out what we're thinking and how we're thinking. So, uh, after that, I have science. Uh, And I think by this, I also mean a little bit of of research, which, in all honesty, is (laughs) a big section of an, an, or sort of its own series that I'd like to do. 
um, because there's I see quite a few issues with uh, the research world and how it sort of all works. Um, and then the last couple of sections are public school and the education we get before college and then alternative education. And that one I'm especially excited about because there I want to talk about kind of what people are doing already that see issues with the current education system. I think there's some really interesting projects uh, by people that truly care to uh, to make education the best it can be for uh, for students today. Um, and so there I hope to be talking about um, a few projects including the University of Austin, which uh, just opened up in the past few years. Um, where their, uh, their goal is sort of the fearless pursuit of truth. Um, I think that's really admirable and that is something that makes me excited. So I hope to learn more about them. There's also Peterson Academy started by Jordan Peterson, uh, in the past couple of months. Uh, that's an online school looking at uh, providing inexpensive education that is accessible and hopefully provides some genuine value to people. Uh, there's alternatives to college as well, like trade school that I want to learn more about. Um, and there's another one on my list of alternative education that uh, I think it's easy to write off uh, just based off of <laughs> um, maybe bias. Um, it's Hustlers University, the school made by the Andrew and Tristan Tate, the Tate brothers. Um, I think if it's something that provides value to people, which it seems to me that that school does, then it ought to be explored um, and understood. So, a uh, few thing, key things to, to note about this series that I'll be making is that even once I do all this work, and especially while I'm doing this work, um, I will always have blind spots. Uh, there will always be perspectives I have not considered and that there will always be infinitely more knowledge than I have. Um, for this reason, it's important, I think, more for me than anything else to remind myself that uh, the goal isn't to achieve like a perfect knowledge of of what I'm trying to explore. It's to educate myself to the point where I feel comfortable having intelligent and effective conversations on this topic. Um, uh, and that I, through that, am, am able to, am capable of affecting some change. Um, on top of that, all of this work is only going to give me the the chance to find some solutions. It's not going <laughs> to... There's certainly no guarantee of finding solutions or coming up with solutions to the problems that I see. Um, even still... There will be, I think, I want to, I want to figure this out more. Um, I want to hopefully find some solutions and that will require a lot of deep thought on my part 
um, uh, with the intention of finding some genuinely new idea uh, or perspective on on how this whole system ought to work. Um, so that's what I'll be doing. Uh, if you're interested, uh, stay tuned. I will be posting uh, quite a lot of book reviews uh, as I'm trying to learn about this and hopefully some conversations with uh, some knowledgeable and interesting people. So expect to see more of that.